Hi right, guys, how's it going? So up next in the class setup videos, we are going to be looking at the X12 pistol. As it says right there, the X12 is a light semi-auto 9mm pistol with specialized and tactical modification options. The polymer frame keeps the weight down and the integrated rail allows laser attachment. So looking at the attachments for this bad boy, for the slide of the barrel, we got the XRK Sidewinder 6SL slide. That gives us some better recoil control and bullet velocity up front for our muzzle we got the ft steel fire we get the sound suppression better bullet velocity damage range and recoil smoothness so even though this thing is accurate right out of the gate no modifications whatsoever we make it that much better and you can actually reach out and touch people with this bad boy for the trigger we got the xrk lighting fire at first thought it was lightning fire but it's lighting fire so that just helps with the fire rate for the magazine 24 round mag so i'm sticking with this one for now because i want to show what you can have um, for the best attachments uh, for this pistol, you know, if you're just leveling up your secondaries, because here in Modern Warfare 2, there's a system where you have to unlock certain weapons, and you have to do certain things with certain attachments, so that can kind of get confusing, especially if you're new to the game, so I want to kind of start off with the, uh, the base things you'll unlock um, just right off the get-go, and then for our final and fifth attachments, we got the XRK Field grip for flinch resistance, which is very important because a lot of times you'll start getting lit up or you'll be getting shot at or even if you get first shot off, you know, if they have a sub or an AR, um, you know, they'll start they'll start popping shots off and uh, the flinch resistance comes in really, really handy. So with all that said, let's take and hop into a match. Keep the fingers crossed we don't lag and have a good old time. Okay, we got all Bagra Fortress and guys, look, I feel like a complete doofus because I started playing a match uh, and was doing phenomenal, and I forgot to hit the record button, so I just backed out. But in the last match that I began playing, um, I had, you know, mediocre connection. Hopefully this one, at, you know, will continue to be that, you know, at best or even better. That way we can give the old X-12 some proper representation because when we looked at the P890, you know, we ran through everybody, finished that match at TDM with a 6.6 KD rocking a pistol only and you know and we did use um just a few air score streets nothing like no chopper gunners none of that garbage just some of the uh you know like the the hellfire missile and whatever the flipping other one is it's like the lightning strike you know still got to learn all the exact terminology but this pistol bro with it's got like the perfect balance of accuracy fire rate i'm about to get god i can't see jack come on Oh, that grenade's going to get me. I'm done. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. You can probably see my back meat just hanging up. Going to shoot me right in the tenderloin. Going to turn me into old Stephen Hawking. This guy has no eyeballs because he run right over me. Um, one nice thing about this one is, you know, it's pretty easy to take and get people off head camps as well. Um, you know, using this weapon without, um, without any attachment still like outperforms like all the other pistols that I've really worked with thus far uh, in comparison to also, you know, using it with no attachments. Where did this guy go? Like, I know there was a guy running through here, and i seen some foot. There he is. It's the same one that ran right over me old body. I'd love to get a UAV because this map can be a little touch and go with, uh, you know, the spawn points. Like right there, I kind of figured that guy would be coming around that back end again, but he did not, so... Whenever they're moving in and around these buildings, you know, like you don't know how the team's going to push. So at distance, you know, when it comes to fall off range and other things like that, you know, it can be hard to win gunfights against ARs and stuff sometimes. But I mean, that's not what the pistols are really for. It's just meant to be something you can take and whip out and, you know, get to going. But I mean, all my homies that love, you know, pistol only gameplay as in like, you know, playing uh, pistol only because it's fun, it's rewarding, and the pistol's hit really hard okay i hear footprints i don't know which side this guy's coming through or on we gotta oh okay let's do this bounce that we're gonna stun anybody we sure aren't oh i'm dead yep i knew that was coming okay kind of thought that grenade should clean up but we can we can get more aggressive i'm kind of glad that the score is pretty even for the most part and we're going neck and neck because that'll get that should in theory give us more time in game to uh to work around and get this if i can kind of push in to their spawn boom there we go got lit up first but it's still good but yeah so a lot of people are going to think that this thing's ads time Ooh, is really slow for a pistol and 
it's not really slow, but it is slower in comparison to a lot of other things, and that's because of the muzzle attachment that we got and the slide slash barrel we got. Um, but what you gain in terms of accuracy and power and range, it makes up for it completely because the ADS time is still good. And what most people don't realize is look how good the hip fire accuracy is. You like up close in like the ranges where you're going to be mostly using this pistol, you don't you don't even have to aim, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's just. It's God tier in, in almost any situation because even I, I'm trying to get set up for a good example here, but I've not really got in an appropriate engagement to do so. Where's it? I could have swore there was a fella up there, but maybe not. If I can get a guy that's like, you know, on a head peak or something that's just not like pre aimed so hard that there's no way humanly possible to, um, you know, counteract wherever he's post it up at but boom look at that range i'm pretty positive that guy had an ar he's seen me he might have even an oh jesus wiener what? okay i seen a red dot right on top of me then my teammate pushes through makes me think that i just got squatted on okay what are these fellas oh there's that yep come on push it okay i don't some of these people are playing really weird like and i don't know what to do about it Oh, come on now. That right there was kind of... That, that That could have been anybody's fight. Let's take and heal up a little bit. I need to start rocking stem shots. Just like I said in the last one, I've not done a great job of, like, really messing with my perks and such. So, you know, that's going to be a big factor in, you know, kind of what happens whenever you run into somebody. So, um, you know, don't take that part of the class setups too serious. Uh, you know, I'll do some videos on that once I have more of a... And, like, right now, if you haven't noticed, you can see my ping up in the left-hand corner. I am getting a lot of uh, latency and packet loss now. Um, and, I mean, I, I was still getting it at the beginning of the game. So, that's a big... That's a very, very important factor in, you know play in the game and especially if you're using a pistol that's uh, popping off with nine millimeter against other did not want to lay down game I, i'm still getting used to the whole uh, you know thing of if you hold down a uh you know it dolphin dives versus sliding um that's something that's really kind of dicking with my uh, my muscle memory for Come on, five rounds and getting absolutely nothing for it. Boom, got him. I don't know what his problem was, but... Come on, give me the long-range kill. Not going to happen, and we need to throw this down. Um, another, just like with the P890, I highly recommend having a primary weapon that uses the same ammunition. So that would be 9mm, but I do not have one unlocked yet, so I cannot showcase that little, uh, that little tip or trick. Oh, okay, well, can't see nothing either. Where are we at? We going? Yep, going down there. Come on, fire rate and accuracy do me good. That guy right there is going to be pre-aiming for days, getting a UAV just in time for people to probably start pushing up on top of me. Yeah, okay. That guy right there that had the optic on his gun is pro oh, probably going to be coming out of that exact same area. God, look at that! Look at that, Broski, just taking and dropping them like it's hot at distance. And I mean, you know what? Losing to an M4 at that range. Does not hurt my feelings at all because I'm, everybody else that we dropped right there was rocking ARs as well. Okay. Come on. Disagree with that 100%. That was, look at that late, latency spike, bro. It was like 500 ping. No wonder I flipping lost it. He was tagged up. Like, whenever, oh, whenever my latency and all that garbage is good, it's like, it's just no contest. And I don't mean to be that kid that, like, says garbage like that, but... You know what I mean? Okay, I don't know why that guy didn't move. I don't know if he's new to the game or what his, you know, mental uh, handicap is, but he just flipping stood there and eat that grenade for absolutely no reason. Come on. Somebody push it. You gotta take and, and use your peaky spots whenever you're uh, around these vehicles because people just, like, for whatever reason, just do not take that into account, and they will show their tootsie-wootsies to you all day. Okay, sorry for the drop shot, but I don't know what weapons all these guys have, so, you know, you got to compensate to the best of your abilities. Okay, okay. I, don't know if, I don't know if these guys are going to be coming from up t downstairs or from up top, because nobody on my team has a UAV. I'm very close to getting a UAV, and it would be a big help to everybody, plus whenever I'm doing the commentary... I can't hear what I'm saying. Okay, boom, got that. God dang it, just... 
Okay, poked her to death. I think I poked her eye out with my uh, with my suppressor right there. I did not mean I needed to call in the UAV. God dang it! Some pussy's gonna run around the corner and shoot me in the head, and I could have had my lightning strike. Or I'm gonna kill myself. Yep, I killed myself. But by God, if I'm gonna go out, it's gonna be the old uh, you know, one for all, all for one, kill myself method. So 22 kills, three assists. You know, not as good as the P890 uh, pistol as far as the video goes, but that's because we had much worst connection um and just the flow of this map is not the same as that uh border crossing roadway el paso el grande whatever the name of it is so 22 and 9 2.4 kd still really really good for pistol only gameplay so this class setup speaks for itself so if you're looking for a good secondary for you know running around on modern warfare uh rather it be you know on the regular multiplayer or in warzone i would really recommend this one i will be doing updated versions once all the attachments are fully unlocked and all that stuff's done but really wanted to get these base level uh or base max level pistol classes out for you guys early on um in this game's lifespan so that being said that's going to do it for this one as always thanks for watching make sure you hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already share your friends check the links in the description of my other channel especially pro caliber hq new videos dropping on there very soon uh, please hit me up in the comment sections, question, <clears throat> questions, concerns, thoughts on Modern Warfare 2, any of that good old stuff. And until the next one, adios.